AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution is set to be released on June 22nd and it will be supported by the Xbox Series X and S. So AMD is releasing a competitor to NVIDIA's DLSS called Fidelity FX Super Resolution. It will be coming out on June 22nd. And as this article here from IGN has confirmed that Microsoft will be able to use this AMD's new super sampling tech on the Xbox Series X and S saying at Xbox we're excited by the potential of AMD's Fidelity FX super resolution technology as another great method for developers to increase frame rates and resolution we will have more to share on this soon now as that said what Fidelity FX super resolution does it will allow games on the Xbox Series X and S to have higher frame rates and higher resolutions without putting more strain on the actual hardware of the console so I think in overall it will just make it easier for us to get those steady 60 frame per second games at high 4k resolutions and that is something to be excited about going forward for sure now this is just one of the fidelity fx things that has been announced that is coming to xbox at the latest game stack live they actually announced that all of these fidelity fx features can be incorporated within Xbox saying here, today we are very happy to announce that AMD Fidelity FX is now available for Xbox. This news makes it even easier than before to write cross-platform games with developers able to access select AMD Fidelity FX effects with specific optimizations for Windows and Xbox. So that's huge because obviously with the Xbox Series X and S and the Xbox ecosystem and Game Pass, there are going to be games that are coming out on Xbox Game Pass that are going to be playable cross-platform with PC and with Xbox. So having the ability for a lot of these third-party developers to be able to easily port games from PC to Xbox and vice versa or however they do it is going to be a big upgrade to getting great versions of these games wherever we play. Getting back to this this is the exciting part about all this this is what i think a lot of people have been waiting for wondering if fidelity fx super resolution was going to be coming to xbox or when it was going to be coming to xbox in june 22nd it looks like is when we can start seeing it or developers are going to start having access to be able to use this technology in order to give us higher frame rates better resolutions without putting too much strain on the actual hardware of the xboxes but then there is that debate as to whether this fidelity fx super resolution is in any way going to be a real competitor to nvidia's dlss and if it's going to be able to do what it does right now on the nvidia gpus on an xbox console because the difference here is that with NVIDIA's DLSS, they are actually using AI to upscale lower resolution images and make them appear at a higher resolution without requiring a substantial amount of performance. But with Fidelity FX Super Resolution, it does not require machine learning. We can go back to this article here from November 20th, and this was them talking about how Xbox Series Direct ML Power DLSS, like AI upscaling, an area of very active research for Microsoft. And it really starts off here where there was an interview with WCCF Tech and Quantic Dream CEO David Cage talking about how he believed one of the biggest hardware advantages for the Xbox Series S and X consoles over the competition, mainly the PlayStation 5, could be in their shader cores. And that had to do with the ability that they are more suitable for machine learning tasks thanks to hardware extensions. And then furthermore to that, Andrew Goosen, who is an Xbox technical fellow, in an interview with Digital Foundry said that it's an area of very active research for us, but I don't really have anything more to say at this point and obviously he is referring to direct ml and ai upscaling so honestly i'm not 100 sure what all of this means but i think at the end of the day getting more of these fidelity fx features available on the xbox series x and s is going to improve the way that games look and just make it easier for developers to create cross platform games from pc and to xbox and as well just give us steadier frame rates better resolution, steadier resolutions as we go through this generation. And then maybe further on down the line, we will get that direct ML from Xbox and maybe somehow combine it. Cause I know that the Fidelity FX super resolution is software based and then 
direct ML, I believe is hardware based. So I'm not sure how all of that would work, but I think that is something to keep your eye on and it could be an interesting solution going forward in the future. But as of right now, as of June 22nd, Fidelity FX Super Resolution will be available to be supported on the Xbox Series X and S. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you excited for this Fidelity FX Super Resolution? And do you think that all of these Fidelity FX features coming to Xbox are going to make games look better in the future? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new here and you like what you see throughout this video. I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.